Welcome back everybody. I am in the dream. Amelia is dead and I'm going to the Forbidden Woods or forest, whatever. So at this point in the game, yeah, going into the woods. It's one of the biggest areas in the game and full of enemies that I'm not a fan of for Well, I don't I don't like snakes. And then you'll see. I guess Oh, also, I don't exactly remember how to get there, so I'm going to have some uh, footage incoming of me running in circles, probably. If I get any good fights, I'll put them in. Or if I die. Playing Dark Souls 2 has spoiled me on load times. That felt like forever. Okay. How the fuck do I get to the forest? Woods. Hey, is Eileen here? No. Okay. Oh, also, since Amelia's dead, it is now nighttime. So, yeah. Shit just gets harder, basically. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, I know where I'm... Oh, oh yeah, the giants are asleep now. If that really matters. I want to go this way. God, that's still... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. Uh, really? Well. There's number one for today. Still got it. Alright. That was warm up. This is, uh... Okay, what's up? I am a part of these bushes. You do not see me. Part of me wishes there was, like, a stealth mode of this game, but then you'd miss all the awesome, horrible, punishing combat. Only horrible in the sense that it's punishing, but not horrible in any other sense. Eh, you go, hitboxes, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, the, the spoon. I'm pretty sure this is the way I need to go. I think. Mm, do I want to kill you? Can I just creep by you? Just... Yep. Notice that they're wearing uh, what looks like church gear. Hmm. Why does the church have giant zombie Frankenstein giants? Oh, but oh, oh, fuck you, buddy. Fucking no way, mind player. Fucking dumb bird. I think I woke up the giant. And somehow I hit. I hit you? Alright, I'll take it. Nope, not what I meant to do. Been playing Dark Souls 2, son of a bitch. That's what I meant to do. And going back and forth between uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 2 is a little. It throws you off sometimes. And in these games, that can just straight up kill you. Uh, what's out here? Hey, it's Alfred. Hey, Alfred, still crazy? Hunting them vile bloods? Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the Tomb of the Gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, 
abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. So, to sum up what he just said in the story so far, all the blood I've been jamming into my leg, and all the blood that Yarnum has been using that's turning him into horrible beasts, has been coming from the Healing Church. The blood was found at a school called Bergenworth, which the church has now set is off limits. And what we saw in the last cutscene after I killed Amelia was Lawrence leaving Master Willem and Bergenworth to start the Healing Church. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent Master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. In his time, Master Lagarius led his executioners into Canehurst Castle to cleanse it of the vile bloods. But all did not go well, and Master Lagarius became a blessed anchor guarding us from evil. Tragic, tragic times that Master Lagarius should be abandoned in the accursed domain of the vile bloods. I must free him so that he may be properly honored in martyrdom. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Alright, and um, that was basically a lot of information about his storyline and the Vile Bloods. The Vile Bloods are pretty much the closest thing to vampires in this game. Uh, at least that's my perception of it. Uh, they just seem very vampire-y. And you'll see that when we get to them. Uh, they're in a really cool area also. That's, a, that's optional, but I'm definitely going there. Uh, there's a really hard boss fight there. But anyway, what we're looking at over here are these two giant windmills and all of that forest in between. I get to go trek through that shit. God, this is a long, long, long part of the game. Probably, probably my least favorite. Hey, but it's nowhere near as bad as, like, uh, the Valley of Defilement or Blight Town. So, you know, whatever. Okay, and so, uh, also from the uh, last cutscene, we saw the password, which is... The password. Fear the old blood. Oh, also, um, Skeleton Man was talking to us, apparently. That's such a nice touch. Already dead? <laughs> That's great. I went a little crazy for it, from that. Okay, moving on. Down the spiral staircase. Hmm. Do I, I'm gonna need my god damn it. I, well, I'm gonna waste so many blood vials because I'm trying to uh, switch my weapon two handed. I don't know. Dark Souls 2. Items? I don't think there are any up here. There's not. Yeah, Forbidden Woods. I didn't say Forbidden Forest earlier. Nope. That didn't happen. Yeah, don't jump off there. I mean, I guess you could try it. You might be able to survive. Probably not, though. Oh, yeah. We're going all the way through that. God damn it. I need my torch. But I'm not going to use it just yet. We're not even in there yet. Early enemies aren't so bad. It's the... You'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to ruin it for anyone that doesn't know what's coming. Boy, I'm not a fan of these enemies. Look at these bones. Bones. I really want to jump off there. For some reason. Oh, there's a dude. And there's some stuff. 
Hey, what's back here? An item. Nice. Okay. No! God damn it! That's what I want. And uh, No. Why did I just try to put my shield up? That works though. That translates from Dark Souls. So this guy's gonna try and throw oil on me, I believe. And if it hits me and then I run into fire by accident, that's a bad that's a bad time. You don't wanna do that. Do you need those blood vials? Because I'm accidentally burning them. Pebbles, sure. What do we got? And this is another area. Like, we're getting to the parts of the game I don't really remember very well. I don't remember the enemy placements hardly at all. Uh, expect me to scream like a little girl at some point, probably. Oh, it's one of you guys. Come on. Come and get me. Well, that worked, I guess. And he's dead, so... Alright, yeah, I'll take it. Nothing? Anything? Nope. Keep moving. And... Dead end. Okay. No. Fuck! <laughs> Okay, well, heading back. I should also note, it's easy to get lost in here. Like, it's happened to me several times. Hey, but look at that, there's a lantern. At least I got to the first one. The easiest one to get to. Enemies, birds. There, uh, birds like to hide in these uh, bushes. Matter of fact, I think I see one right over here. Yep. Can I hit him through that? Let's find out. Nope. Alright, well. I have enough souls to go level up, so I'm going to go level up. And then uh, probably cut back here. Well, scratch that. I don't have enough to level up. I, uh... Still about 5,000 short, so let's go kill stuff. Like this bird. Again. Unless it kills me. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Well, this time, that one was intentional. There may be. Yep, there's another one. And hey, whoa, just right off the cliff. Oh, antidotes. Yeah, yeah, better. Might as well just equip those. Eh, I won't equip them yet. I'll use them from the end. Don't jump off the cliff backwards, please. Nothing over there? Okay. So yeah, early enemies in this, not so bad. They're just mostly, you know, dudes. Away! Away! Ah. Oh, jeez. Grab that. Move around you and just stab you right in the dick. Alright, so... Here's some fun. See uh, that, that right there? Yeah, don't step there and look up there. See the giant spike log straight out of an Indiana Jones ripoff? I'm just gonna do that, and... Oh, the back swing. I forgot about the back swing. Whoops. Boy, I look like a jackass. Well, let's go get my souls. Oh, just, yeah. Gonna lose them all, aren't I? Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, he ate him. Great. Well, you have to die, like, now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna bother with it, because that thing respawns. So, yeah, after the second swing, apparently, it uh, detaches and rolls off. I thought it was after the first one, clearly. It is not. Ugh. Ugh, left or right? Right. No. Again, I'm, I'm. That's like the sixth or seventh time. You guys, not so bad now, though. Now that this, now that I have the sword. Okay. 
So yeah, if you come over here, you can look at this entire area and see what's your base, what's basically waiting on you. Yeah, dogs, dudes with urns, a ton of fire to walk into, and you can just drop down here and skip most of it. I'm gonna go back though because there's items. Uh, and there's just a bunch of dudes, and uh, there's an item down like there's it splits right here. You can go that way and get an item, or you can go over that way and go to the well. You can just proceed with that way. Go to the rest of the level, you may say. Or not say, because that was worded poorly. Anyway. <clears throat> this is where pebbles come in handy. You can aggro these guys from here. Well, first you gotta aggro the dogs, just by, just by being there. But yeah, you can aggro these guys, that way you can fight them over here, and you don't have to worry about these guys throwing the oil urns on you. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, that guy doesn't give a fuck. You do, though. There we go. I thought I could have just killed him with a normal slide, but I guess I wanted to waste ammo. To justify everything? Jesus. Or Satan? Whatever. You're Cthulhu, in this case. Oh yeah, and I don't, well, I don't really consider this a spoiler, but as far as the storyline goes and the blood, uh, it's basically the blood of the old ones. I don't really think that's a spoiler. I just think it makes it way cooler. I guess it could be considered a spoiler. I mean, it's kind of obvious. I don't know, I guess it's not. Some people don't even care about the story. Some people just like the game. Whatever. Kill this dude. And, uh, try and American Gladiators my way through this. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about all of you guys. And the shield guys, they're so easy to kill. They might be the easiest enemy in the game. Probably not. There's probably some like bug in here. Oh fucking Jesus. I'm trying to talk here, dog. Dead? Okay. Yeah, the shield guys might be one of the easiest in definitely one of the easiest enemies, if not the easiest. But they can still kill you, just like everything else, which is great. The night, uh, the nightmares aren't really enemies, although the big ones can kill you. I think. I think they fight back. Get all these items and not walk into the fire. I don't. Yeah, just walk into the fire. It's fine. And the flame effects are really good in this one. God, that looks good. Okay, okay, enough. Enough jerking off over the awesome, awesome graphics. Boy, Dark Souls 3 is going to be amazing. Who's hyped for that? Jeez. You get to create a bonfire now. That's, yep, that's awesome. I just hope it doesn't break the game, but I don't think it will. Alright, you have to watch uh, through these areas because there's like, oh, nightmare. We got. Whoa, words! All right. Fuck you. What if I can kill a bird with a pebble? Oh, that would take forever. And I don't have enough pebbles. Nope. Back down. Thank you. Wow. Yep. Okay, that's all. Yep, dead end. So I can go back. Anyway, uh, there's a part up here where there's a bunch of wooden boards, and if you step on them, you fall. Which I think is this way. Yeah. Yeah. If I walk out there, I'm, uh... I'll fall down, and I have to do this the long way. There's another way you can just kind of bypass all that, and that's by going back here. And just running up here. And you can just, I mean... You're in the same area, technically, but just a different part, I guess. Well, now I've already got some attention. Hit the right button that time. Still didn't matter, though. I'm about to die. Okay. Some enemies, it's better to use the big sword. Wow, it's messed up. I don't... I need the item, not the notes. 
Just roll into the corpse. They'll give you all the items. Hmm, beast blood pellet. Might not even use it. Alright, so. This is the path I remember the least. So this is a bad idea. But that's fine. I'm gonna get super lost, probably. Actually, maybe I should wait. Nah, fuck it. Let's just keep going. Oh, I know where I'm at. Hey, look at that. That look familiar? Man, these guys are really obvious with their traps. That and the first time I played this, I got smacked in the face by that, so. Yup. Just stroll into Resident Evil 4. Get the Ganados. This guy's faking it. He's still not dead. Wow. Oh, this guy was. He got his back the whole time. Oh, yeah. Got their attention now. Oh, no! Oh, I only had 21,000 souls. That was definitely enough to level up. Fuck! Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. <laughs>